Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new around here, my name is Blair Lamb and I make videos about a little bit of everything. Motherhood, lifestyle, home stuff, some Disney content, some travel content, just a sprinkle of this and that. It is a Friday evening right now and I just took a nice hot shower and got myself together because we are going on a little family date night. Um, Riley and I really needed to and wanted to go out this evening and just chill for a little while but nobody was available to watch our kids. And so what we're going to do is go to a family friendly restaurant that has a playground so the kids can eat and play intermittently. And Riley and I can hopefully have like some great chats because this week has felt like ships passing in the night. I'm doing a weekend vlog instead of a week vlog because of what I just said. It was a very chaotic week. We just launched last Sunday our holiday line over on BlairLambDesign.com and the response has been outstanding. So thank you so much if you placed an order. And with that, we have both been working as many hours as we can possibly squeeze in um, to get everything sewn out and printed and packaged and customer questions answered and just all of it. So that's been our whole week. So this weekend, we're hoping to unwind a little bit. I definitely have some work to do as well, but this video is sponsored by Brooklinen, and I'm so excited to share with you about the sheets that we were sent by Brooklinen and the duvet cover that we were sent by Brooklinen. The quality of this product is so outstanding. We have been so very impressed. The very first night that I put the Brooklinen sheets on the bed, I didn't say anything to Riley. And when he got in bed, I walked in the room and he said, what are these sheets? <laughs> and I was like, oh, Brooklinen just sent us those to give them a try. This was about, probably about a month ago now. And he was like, oh my goodness. Like he like loved them. They really are so high quality, so comfortable, and they continue to get more comfortable as we as we wash them every week. So anyway, I will share more about Brooklinen and the company and their bundle deals tomorrow morning, but I just wanted to invite you into our cozy fall weekend. I just got this top from a woman on Instagram named Ashley Rose, who started a line of clothing called Body Love Basics, and the whole premise is that when your weight fluctuates or you get pregnant or when you have your period or whatever, like whatever reason a woman would have for her body to change shape and size, she created this whole clothing line of items that are built and styled to be able to fluctuate with your body. So um, I really love that. So like this is a medium and it's nice and loose. I have it tucked in, um, but it's longer in the back. The sleeves are nice and long. So if you're a tall gal, you could definitely wear, you know, cause I feel like I have pretty long arms and I have them cuffed this much. So you can cuff them, you can roll them up, you can have them down. I would totally wear this with leggings. I'm not being paid in any way to talk about this sweater. I just really like it. I also got um, a green short sleeved, more casual kind of top. And I, I really, I see what she means and what the vision of this with the fit, because truly I feel like I could gain, lose weight, muscle, anything, and like this would still be comfortable. So I will link it below if you're interested, if you wanna check out her shop. Um, I was super excited when she announced the idea for it because I think I was postpartum with Colin at the time. And, but this is the first time I bought anything and I love the mustard yellow for this time of year. So that is the story. Welcome to our weekend. I think I already said it's Friday night. What time is it? It's six o'clock. So we're gonna go to dinner, enjoy it. Hopefully the kids get a good night's sleep. It has been a very sleepless week for Riley and I. We've been totally burning the midnight oil um, for good reason, but we're just both really ready to chill. And then tomorrow we have <clears throat> no plans in the morning. I do have some work I wanna get done, some things around the house I'd like to get done. And then in the evening, the afternoon evening, we have a bocce ball tournament with our friends, which we also did last year and it was really fun. So come along and welcome to our weekend. Okay, so there's the playground and Riley just ran over there to lay down some rules with the kids. <laughs> they can play in the playground and they can come over here, but they can't go anywhere else. And we're sitting on the water and we just ordered some drinks. So this is what I mean when I say a family date night. It's very, very nice. I got a caramel apple martini, which sounds amazing. And Riley just got a beer. And we just ordered some chips and queso for the table as an appetizer. And I haven't decided what we're getting for dinner yet. We got some chips and salsa. The kids are devouring it. Is it yummy? Sure. Sure. <laughs> we're the only ones brave enough to sit out on the patio because it's it's a little chilly, but 
We're dressed for it. We're fine. I got the BLT flatbread pizza. And then the kids are splitting some pizza. And Riley got a sandwich called the Hot Italian. And that is what we are enjoying right now. We got home from dinner about an hour ago and got the kids to bed. And I just got myself ready for bed and I'm climbing into it. I will talk more about these sheets in the morning, but they are just so cozy. We really love them. I am reading a book right now that is called, what is it called? The Last Letter? The Last Letter by Rebecca Yaros, who is the author of Fourth Wing, which was probably my favorite book of this year that I've read so far or in the top three. Um, if you are a Kindle girl and you don't have one of these um, remotes, I highly recommend it. You just clip this onto the edge. And so I'll sit up in bed and just prop this up and then I can get all cozy under the blanket and I can just turn the page just like this. It's so awesome. So anyway, I'm gonna go to bed and read my book and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning from this amazing lighting. Follow me for all the best vlogging and YouTube tips. <laughs> um, it is a few minutes after 7 a.m. and we have this cute little routine in our house. Nora's the one that wakes up early, so she wakes up and she comes and gets me up and then we get dressed together, I get her some breakfast, turn on a cartoon for her and then I get myself to the gym and that happens a lot of days of the week. Oh, better lighting now because the car's driving. <laughs> um, so I'm heading to the gym right now, which is how I know that my brain has truly been changed by exercise because it's pouring down rain, which is why it's so dark and um, it is still dark and very cozy and I'm like, oh, I really want to go get a workout in this morning <laughs> and it's seven o'clock. Uh, anyway, um, I drink a premier protein every single time I go to the gym. It's It just makes it so easy. I just pick one up out of the fridge and on the drive there, I drink it. And that's what I do every single time that I work out. Um, these were on sale. They are a flavor called Root Beer Float. I wouldn't have like sought out a Root Beer Float flavor of a protein shake, but they're not bad. I've actually never had a premier protein shake that I actively disliked. I've just had some that I haven't liked as much. Um, the first one that comes to mind is cinnamon roll. There's like a cinnamon roll premier protein that I thought would be really good and it was just okay. So anyway, that's kind of how I feel about this one. It's not bad at all. It's just kind of like, okay, it's not a rip your flow to tell you that. <laughs> so I'm going to have that, go and get a workout, um, and then come back home and spend some time with my kids. I have been listening on a different note to, ooh, no pun intended, to 1989 Taylor's version for the past, whatever, 24, 36 hours since it came out. It's so good. The, tra the vault tracks are just so, so good. I just love them. Um, so I actually, like a few weeks ago when we launched our holiday collection, included in that holiday collection are two Swifty designs. One that says, we can leave the Christmas lights up till January on a maroon sweatshirt. Really cute. That one's been selling a lot. And the other one is a light blue sweatshirt with navy and white writing that says Taylor's version in parentheses. And that one would be extremely appropriate for the past few days with this album relaunching. 1989 is probably my favorite album of hers. I just love it so much. And when it released, I was dating Riley and he, that was the first gift he ever gave me was the 1989 album because he's loved Taylor Swift for a long time too. So, um, it was really sweet. So anyway, it, a lot of it reminds me of dating him because I listened to it so much when we were just getting together. So make sure to go check out my shop if you <laughs> if you are a Swifty as well, and if you would like to uh, go check any of that out. Also, I hit the one year mark of um, before I am going with my cousin Caroline to the Eras tour. So I'm really excited about that because we got tickets <clears throat> for next October in Miami, and. Um, it's still far away, but it's getting closer every single day and I'm really excited about it. So I got my headphones on. I'm gonna drink my protein shake. I'm gonna drink my pre-workout, which like, this is like 
so janky. I don't even have a lid on it. I couldn't find one and I was like, mm, doesn't matter. Um, and then work out and then come home and spend a day with my cute family. And then this afternoon we are supposed to be playing bocce ball outdoors and doing a bocce ball tournament before we do dinner and drinks. But I'm not thinking that's going to happen because it's straight up. Can you hear the rain? It's raining a lot. I am not even in focus. Oh, my stars. Okay. So that's the story. It is still a super cozy, rainy, autumnal fall day. So it's actually a really great day to talk to you about cozy, comfy sheets. This video, as I mentioned yesterday, is sponsored by Brooklinen. So thank you, Brooklinen, for kindly sponsoring this video and for sending us such beautiful sheets. So I'm really excited to tell you guys about these. So just to introduce you to Brooklinen, if you're not familiar with this company, they are a luxury sheets and home goods company. And so all of the things that they make and sell are really, really high quality, and we can definitely attest to that, which I will talk about here in a second. So I selected Brooklinen's Classic Hardcore Sheet Bundle, which includes a core sheet set, so a fitted sheet and a flat sheet, and then pillowcases, and then extra pillowcases are in this bundle, plus a duvet cover. So I know I've already talked about the duvet cover that we have, but you save 25% when you get this bundle, and I thought it would be really nice that when one is in the wash, I can just go ahead and put the other one straight on the bed. And the luxury feeling of these sheets, y'all, I can't even explain to you. I know I said yesterday, but that is a true story, that I had put those sheets on the bed, and Riley was so blown away, he actually brought it up. He actually said, did we get new sheets? What are these sheets? Because they have this amazing, luxurious, hotel-like luxury feeling. And every time that I've washed them over the past three to four weeks, they come out of the dryer, I pop them back on the bed, and they're even softer and even more comfortable. I feel like these are going to be sheets that we can keep for a long time and really, really enjoy for years to come. One thing that I like in particular about the Brooklyn and sheets is that they they run cool, like the weave of them and the way that they feel are perfect for hot sleepers. And in our family, oftentimes, obviously Riley and I fall asleep in the bed. Oftentimes our dog Charlie will come in bed with us and then many, many, many nights, one or both kids will wake up at some point in the middle of the night or towards the morning hours and tiptoe across the house and come climb in bed with us. So they're are definitely mornings when we wake up and there are four humans and one dog in our bed. The lighter, cooler feeling of these sheets has been so great. I feel like I'm not getting as overheated. In fact, because of the sheets, I feel like I can wear cozier PJs to bed without overheating. So really, really love that aspect of them. Because we spend a third of our lives in bed, obviously it's really important to not only be comfortable, but for the sheets to be super safe and non-toxic. So these have been certified and tested for harmful substances, and they meet the strict global safety criteria of the standard 100 by Okotex, which means that you and your family can sleep peacefully knowing that you're not sleeping on anything that's going to be harmful to you or your kids or even your dog if your dog sleeps with you like ours does sometimes. When you're grabbing a bundle from Brooklinen, you can actually mix and match online. So I'll show you what that interface looks like here. It's very easy. And so you can choose from 20 plus colors and patterns so that you can make sure that you're fitting your particular style, what you're looking for, and what you want your space to look like aesthetically, as well as just getting really comfy sheets. You guys know we just spent time and money and energy <laughs> renovating and redoing our whole primary bedroom. And the one missing piece, and I think I actually mentioned it recently, so sometimes the stars just align, was that we didn't have nice sheets. Our sheets were ratty and just we did not have nice sheets. I really feel like our bedroom is now the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate haven. So if you are interested in checking out Brooklyn and Sheets, make sure to go first take a peruse on their website and see the selection process. Check out the bundles where you can save 25% by getting all of those things together. You can also save $20 off your order of 100 or more using the code Blair L at checkout. That's all one word, B-L-A-I-R-L. <laughs> so that can get you $20 off your order if you are interested. You also definitely want to take a look at all of the reviews. There are so many 
five star reviews on this website, just attesting to how incredible these sheets really are. I had heard about Brooklinen for the past couple of years. I have a few friends who have Brooklinen sheets in their bed and I get it. I totally get it. Like these are just so nice. They just, I crawl into bed at night and I'm like, in fact, just last night, just last night, Riley and I got into bed, the kids had gone to bed, and we were just laying there talking and laughing and watching stuff on our phones and whatnot. And Riley remarked again, he looked over at me and he's like, I just love these sheets. So if you have a husband bringing that up a couple of times, I feel like you can seriously give it five stars. Also, I didn't even mention that when the sheets came and arrived to our doorstep, they are packaged so beautifully. I said to my husband, like, wow, these, this is beautiful. I actually feel like they would be amazing, amazing gifts as the holiday season is creeping up upon us. Once again, if you're interested in getting $20 off, $100 or more, you can always use the code BlairL at checkout. I will also leave links below. And I just wanna thank Brooklyn in once again for so kindly sponsoring this video and sending us what are truly the best sheets we've ever slept on. morning and happy Sunday. <laughs> we just got back from church and um, it is super cold today. It's rainy and cold and just not fun to be outside, but it's very cozy inside. And I just got these, um, I'm standing among the kids' toys. And I just got these slippers from Quinn's. And um, they're $49, which is half of what the Ugg slippers feel like. And they're real Australian shearling, whatever. They're really comfy. Probably my favorite slippers I've ever owned. And um, I just really, really like them. So today um, I do need to go to up to my office for a couple of hours this like afternoon. Probably once we get Colin down, hopefully for a nap. And um, before then, I just want to do some tidying. This week has been a busy one, and uh, it's been super rainy, so we have been indoors 24-7, basically, with a few exceptions. Whoa, whoa. Magnetile towers are being destroyed as we speak. So the house is just out of control right now. I have laundry to do. Well, Riley was starting laundry this morning. We've got the kitchen to clean up, the main areas to clean up, the kids' bedrooms to clean up. We've got everything. Um, so that's kind of the story with that. Tomorrow is Nora's fourth birthday. And so Riley took off work and uh, we are gonna go to the Dallas World Aquarium tomorrow. We haven't told the kids yet, although they're standing right here, so. Um, I think that'll be really, really fun. So that's what we're doing tomorrow. So today I want to get everything in order at home so that we can start off our week, you know, on a fresh, good step foot forward. Oh, last night, I didn't, I forgot. Last night was so much fun. We ended up staying out until after midnight, which is not the norm anymore. Um, but it was really nice, super fun. The meal was delicious. The company was super amazing. We did not get to play bocce ball because the bocce ball court had about six inches of water just sitting on the top of it. So there was no way to play bocce ball. Um, but we just still had dinner and drinks and we played cards and um, it was so fun. We were playing a game called scat. It was really fun. So really good evening last night. And then we got home, got some sleep and did church this morning. And now it is time to clean up this disaster of a house. I just changed into comfy clothes after church and I'm actually gonna go ahead and bake 
one of the loaves of sourdough. I have two that have been bulk fermenting in the fridge for the past couple of days. So I'm gonna go ahead and bake one so we have fresh bread for this evening or for tomorrow morning or whenever. Um, I shared this in a recent video and have gotten so many messages of people thanking me for sharing it because it is truly the absolute best stain remover I have ever used for carpet. In our current home that we recently moved into, we have no carpet. We only have throw rugs, area rugs. But in our old home, especially when we first moved in, if you can remember it, if you've been around for a while, that whole front room was all carpet. Our kitchen was tile. The whole back room was carpet. The whole bedroom wing with the three small bedrooms were all carpet. And then our primary bedroom was carpet and our closet with carpet. So everything was carpet except for basically the kitchen. And we use this, I just got a new bottle, which is what made me think of sharing it again. Um, it takes anything out. It even says right on here, pet accidents, grease, ink, red wine, coffee, blood, rust, food, cosmetics, dirt, grime, most old stains, and it's excellent for upholstery. I just can't recommend this enough if you especially have pets or kids in the house. It is called Folex, I will link it below. It's so good. It's This bottle is big, and so I think it's about 20 bucks for this bottle, which is, I think, pretty expensive for a cleaning solution. But it will last you, it usually lasts us about a year or two years. In our old house, we went through it faster with all that carpet, but now it's great. So anyway, highly recommend that. We also just got, the kids are in the bath right now. We didn't give them a bath last night because we got home so late. My mother-in-law was here watching them and we didn't want to ask her to do that because it's like a whole other thing. So while they're in the bath, I'm going to show you the advent calendars that we got for them for this year. Okay, we got two advent calendars, one for each kid. So this Jurassic Park dinosaur one is for our dinosaur loving boy, Colin. And this one is super cool and um, it's the Lego City set. And so there's all these little people and little scenes that you can kind of make with Legos. Now, Nora will need assistance with this, but Riley was really excited about the prospect of getting to do one of these with her every day, every morning, you know, of December. So I think that'll be really, really cute and fun. And then, of course, Colin will love this. I actually remembered to grab, and here's what comes in this one. Lots of little dino toys and then like a little gated fence situation. Um, one of my Instagram subscribers messaged me and said that she saw at Target a National Geographic dinosaur advent calendar and that I should totally check it out. And that is what got me in thinking like, oh, I do want to make sure I get those because December 1st sneaks up, doesn't it? So um, I went on to the Target website. I looked up that one, the Nat Geo one. And that one's awesome, but it's some dinosaur toys and then a lot of also gemstones like little you know kind of goes with like the prehistoric vibes colin would not be excited about gemstones and i think that actually some of our windows would break from him chucking gemstones around the house i feel much better about this um, but i appreciate the tip to take a look because it got me thinking about a dinosaur advent calendar so this is going to be his i will link it below if you have a dinosaur loving boy I'm going to set it up here on top of this wet bar, and this will be Nora's. This one is just precious. I'm really excited about this one. Those are really cute and really exciting. Okay, I'm going to go bake my loaf of sourdough. I'm going to put this in the cleaning cabinet out of little hands and uh, just tidy up a little bit in here. And that's what, that's what we're up to. Also, when I was trying to do a weekly vlog earlier this week, I filmed a segment of some of the bubble bar jewelry that I recently got with specifically our upcoming Christmas Disney trip in mind. And I'm just gonna take that one. I only ended up taking a couple of segments for the weekly vlog before it just fell apart and I scrapped it. But I'm going to insert that one segment here because I absolutely love the pieces that I got. And if you are a Disney lover, if you love Christmas, if you're going to Disney at Christmas, anything like that, I feel like you might really wanna take a look. So I will insert that clip here and then we'll get to the sourdough. All right, I've gotten the kids settled and I wanted to share with you the order I just got from Bobble Bar. I have been eyeing their Disney Christmas jewelry collection for several years now, but have never bought anything from it. And so they, I mean, they have the cutest stuff. I will link the things that I got below. So the first thing that I got <clears throat> are these earrings. We, I'm sure you know, if you've been following along this channel, we are going to Disney World 
for the Christmas season. And I am just obsessed with these little wreaths with all the little gems. I mean, how stinking cute. In fact, let's try one on. Um, I wanted to buy like 10 different pairs of the earrings and bracelets and everything from their holiday line, but I want to be able to wear them on um, future trips that aren't at Christmas time. So I only got, this is the only thing that I got that's heavily Christmas, but I, oh my gosh, I love those. Those are so fun when I'm in Disney. A lot of times I wear my hair up so you can see them. Oh my goodness, okay, completely obsessed. So those are the little wreaths that I got, so cute. Then the next pair I got, I got with, I mean, these really could be worn day to day in just normal everyday life, um, but I will put them in my Disney bin and then when I go to Disney World, um, I can wear them. I think they are so, so stinking cute. Um, and they're 18 karat gold plated over sterling silver, both of which are great for people with sensitive ears. So um, this lighting is a little odd, but you can see they're gold and then they have little like Swarovski crystals. Um, and I love them for just day to day, you know, Disney, like any kind of Disney trip these would be appropriate for because they're not seasonal. Let me show you. How cute are they? Oh, I love them. They're a lot more understated than the reeds, but I still, I love them. This is more my day-to-day -day <clears throat> style is more understated. So, um, but now that I see how cute the wreaths are, I sort of want to go back and look and see. They have like Mickey head that have a peppermint swirl, like candy cane look to them. They have like dangly Mickeys and Minis in like Santa. They have the cutest, most festive stuff. So, um, and this is actually the favorite thing that I got. This is a ring. with little Mickey heads on it. And I got it to wear, so I wear my wedding set on my left ring finger. Um, and then I got this one to wear on my right hand. I mean, like, just so cute. And this I, I would wear um, not in Disney. Like, I would wear this day today. I think it's really cute, understated, just a little sprinkle of pixie dust um, without being overtly you know, more in your face Disney, which some people like, which is so awesome. It's like everybody has their preferences. Day to day, I prefer something that's a little bit more understated in the Disney department. I really like that. So that's my little bubble bar order. I will link all of the, um, the things, the pieces that I got below these two sets of earrings and then this ring, but make sure to take a look, especially if you're heading to Disney at Christmas time, or if you just love Disney and Christmas things together. They also just launched this adorable Thanksgiving line. And there's like little pumpkin pie Mickey head. Like it's really, really cute. If we were going earlier in the year towards Thanksgiving, I would absolutely have to pick up a couple of things from that line. So very excited about these and was eager to show you them and share them with you. So I just turned the oven on like a second ago, so it's not hot yet, to 500 degrees. And then I put my Dutch oven in here and I will heat up both the oven and the Dutch oven. Most recipes call for an hour. I usually don't wait the full hour, um, but maybe 30 minutes or so until the Dutch oven itself is super hot. And then you carefully will transfer, and I'll show you, the dough into the Dutch oven and then into the actual oven so that it helps kind of give it that really crusty outside but that really delicious inside to the bread. So that's where we're doing. I'm gonna clean up the kitchen while this preheats. My mom sent us this. She ordered it from a company online and they sent it with like dry ice and stuff so it came um, super cold but it's like a charcuterie board but it's a Halloween themed one so it has, it has little googly eyes that Nora's holding and it has candy corn and all these other little yummy things. These look good. It's and really, then really it comes good. with rosemary sea salt crackers. So this is kind of what we're munching on for lunch today. This looks like good, some blueberry something. 
Super, Whoa. super fun. Vampirina. <laughs> Vampirina. <laughs> and my sourdough just came out of the oven. So after you do the warm up with the Dutch oven, then you put it on some parchment paper in there, which I did, and you bake it with the lid on for 20 minutes. And then with an oven mitt, you remove the lid and then you bake it for another 15 or 20. And um, it turns out pretty much beautifully every single time. So you want to let it fully cool because the cooling process continues and um, finishes the cooking process. So it's still quite warm, but it'll be ready. It's one o'clock now in the afternoon. It'll be ready for dinner time tonight. And then we still have about a fourth left of our loaf that I made a few days ago. And so I'm going to cube it up and turn it into salad croutons, which I think will be really delicious. Just like homemade sourdough sour salad croutons. Yum. Well, hello, I am up at my office now. I'm gonna get a little bit of work done for a couple of hours. So I will go ahead since it's Sunday afternoon and wrap this video up. It has been such a nice weekend. We've had some productivity, some relaxing time with friends, just all the good things in life. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to get this done and then go home and see if I can sneak in a little quick nap, maybe read a little bit of my book and then take a nap. So thank you so much for watching. You guys will have to leave me a comment below. What have you been up to this fall? Any fun fall plans or do you have anything you're looking forward to? Just let me know what's been going on with you. Remember that you can save $20 off your order of 100 or more at Brooklinen using the code Blair L. So I will leave that linked below if you're interested. Thanks again to Brooklinen for sponsoring this video and I will see you guys next week.